the trouble is that if you are a private sector company, you live and work in a market, and unless you become more efficient, you don't survive and you disappear. While in the case of government, uh, that never happens, and if governments become effectively insolvent, they default on their debts, and that's what may be happening soon in Greece and in the rest of the Eurozone, and eventually that's what may happen also in other advanced economies. So there is not really a market or a competition for forcing governments to make the tough choices. I mean, think about the U.S. government, where, first of all, our federal deficit and debt is going to go to 100 percent of GDP based on official statistics. Then we have another 20 to 30 trillion dollars of unfunded liabilities coming from Social Security and Medicare. And on top of it, now we just passed another health care reform bill that, however good, is going to add another trillion dollar of liabilities. Then we have the disaster of state and local governments. Their official stock of debt, the money bond market, is about 2.8 trillion. That's another 20% of GDP. Then you have between 1 trillion to 3 trillion of unfunded liability of the state and local government pension funds. That's another 15 to 20% of GDP. So while the official public debt already looks like a disaster, because it's going from 50 to 100% of GDP, if you add all these unfunded liabilities and the explicit or implicit liabilities of state and local government, that debt is even higher than that. And this is in the United States, where at least the demographic is helping us. If you go in the Eurozone and Japan, where actually there is massive aging of the population, Japan has already a public debt of 180% of GDP, and there is aging of population. So those are the fundamental key issues that we have to address. And unfortunately, I see in most countries in the world unwillingness to address it. There are divided government. There is not bipartisanship. Uh, governments are very short-term. And unless the markets then force them to adjust like they are right now in the Eurozone, uh, the incentive is always to kick the can down the road and postpone the problem and socialize the private losses rather than addressing this fundamental problem. That's why I'm worried.